Parkinson's is currently diagnosed when people come to our clinical center. Our studies aim to shift this paradigm by introducing a blood test that measures the underlying pathological causes. This research introduced a breakthrough technology designed to detect Parkinson's disease early through a blood test. Our method isolates individual vesicles released by neurons in microscopic droplets and identifies the disease-associated protein using fluorescent imaging. This device works simply and rapidly using a simple syringe mechanism to create over 200,000 droplets in minutes. The biggest challenge was sensitivity. Imagine finding a needle in a haystack. These neural vesicles are incredibly rare and the protein levels are vanishingly low. We so pleased by engineering the chip to trap uh, single vesicles in droplets using enzymatic boosts to amplify the signal, ensuring even trace amounts detectable. One discovery enabled by this platform is the identification of alpha-synuclein on the surface of extracellular vesicles. We have verified these findings using super-resolution digital imaging techniques. I used direct stochastic optical reconstruction microscopy or DSTOM, a super resolution imaging technique that enables us to visualize individual EVs at uh, near molecular resolution. This method allowed us to detect the spatiotemporal distribution of individual proteins uh, such as alpha synuclein on the EV surface. These insights are in fact crucial for understanding its role in Parkinson's disease. Using this methodology, we uh, discovered that alpha-synuclein is found on the surface of extracellular vesicles, and this membrane association increases under pathological conditions, and therefore identifies more accurately individuals at risk of developing Parkinson's, as well as people with Parkinson's is nine out of 10 times. Importantly, all this can be done with a few drops of blood paving the way for an eventual pinprick test of Parkinson's.